Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Tech Ride Reviews. This is Tasker Thursdays, episode 2, and I'm going to be showing you some really cool tips with NFC tags. For those of you who don't know, NFC is a new technology that has been around in smartphones for a few years. It allows you to touch your phone to NFC enabled things. This could either be a register to pay or simply these tags which I have right here. Before I show you my tips, you need to make sure you have compatible NFC tags. I ordered these online for about $12, that's about a dollar each. I'll leave some links down below in the description. So once you have your tags, you're going to need to download an app called Trigger. It's free on the Google Play Store. And once you have it downloaded, it will allow you to make profiles either in the app, but one of the most powerful things about this is it allows you to use tasker profiles that you've already created or make new ones and have that be the action the tag does. My number one location to put an NFC tag is on your desk. So whenever you walk up, you can simply just tap your phone and it will immediately trigger a set of actions. I have mine turn down the brightness, set my ringer to vibrate, and turn power saving mode off. And also it will connect to my Wi-Fi. Another great place for NFC tags is on a music player or music dock. So as you can see, I have one on my phone stand and another on my Bluetooth speaker. So whenever I'm putting my phone on my Bluetooth speaker, I know I'm going to want to open up my music app. So I'm going to create a new, pro a new task. You aren't going to be creating any profiles. So I'm going to create a new task and I'll call it music. So now I can go to add, select the app option, and I'll have it open my app. I use Google Play Music. It really depends on what you use. So I am going to hit play music. And also I obviously if I'm list and also if I'm listening to music, I'll definitely want the volume up. So I'll create a second part that will go to audio, media volume, and set that to about half three quarters, wherever you know you like to listen to it. Another great place to put NFC tags is near your bed, whether this is actually on your bed frame or just on nightstand nearby. So when I walk up to my bed, it'll reprogram my phone. I've already created it, and I've programmed it to enable Wi-Fi, set my ringer to silent, set brightness to zero, media volume to zero, and disable power mode. But one of the best things about this app is you can program it to do two tasks. In the morning when I get up, I'm going to want to undo all of this, so I have it do the exact opposite. I have it turn my ringer on, turn my brightness up, enable power saver mode and turn my mode to vibrate. Putting an NFC on your front door or wherever you leave your house can be really helpful at helping you remember things. So if you know you have to do something you think you'll forget, the night before you can just program it. So whenever you are leaving your house, you'll know you have to tap that NFC tag and then it'll remind you what you have. To do this, I went to task and created a profile named Door. And then I went into the alert option. And I set to do notify sound. In the title, you can call it whatever you need. I'll just name it Reminder for now. And then the text will, you can add it if you need to remember more stuff. And the sound file, which you can find under folder called Ringtones. So I'll just set it for this. So now, I need to go back into Trigger like I showed you. Program it to do this task or task. And now I can select and it's called door so now I just need to program it so now whenever I'm leaving I just tap my phone to it and when I do so it'll remind me and a little notification will pop up telling me what I need to do this next one will let people connect your Wi-Fi network just by tapping an NFC tag this is really good if you have lots of people coming to your house who always need to connect to Wi-Fi to do this you actually can't do this in Tasker it's only available with Trigger so go to add, make sure you have select NSC, next, wireless and networks, Wi-Fi connect, and then you go to next, here enter the network name, and go to authentication type, enter whatever yours is, mine's WEP, enter your password. I'm just going to demonstrate this by forgetting my current Wi-Fi network. So as you can see, it's listed right here, but it is forgotten. So now whenever I go up to the NFC tag, I will just tap it, and it obtained the IP address, and it connected. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you like these NFC tag tips. If you have any that you find helpful, make sure to leave them down below in the comments. Also, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more videos.